Hey, what's up guys? DRC3 here back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video and today we are once again back on the Ultra Arena screen. This time to do something a little bit different. Uh, something has just happened that I wasn't expecting and I'm actually really excited about it. I know most people probably wouldn't be excited about this, but I just had a loss on defense and I know that's a weird thing to be excited about but if you look at who it's against uh, you might be excited too I lost to Jay Fanta who's kind of like one of the lead youtubers right now for my hero ultra impact along with Hydros and so that's really exciting for me to go against probably what would be considered one of the best teams or one of the highest pay to play teams in the game that there is you can see he has a total BP of 306,000 I've seen other teams around 340,000 so so I'm not gonna say he's the best but he does have a pretty good team my team currently has a total BP of 310,000 and even just looking at his team right here I can probably tell you that he's been messing around with some things trying some new team builds and stuff like that because he does have his Aizawa and his Nejire on the sub slots instead of in the main slots so maybe he's trying to just see what this new Red Todoroki can do or maybe he was doing a showcase or something like that who really knows uh anyways let's go into the details here and see how my team fared obviously my whole team was wiped out because he won and my defense lost uh but my team was able to kill two of his characters we did kill the Red Todoroki and we did kill the Red Kirishima which is pretty good considering I have two green characters on my team, the Todoroki and the Nejire in the main slots. My green Todoroki and my Nejire did the most damage on the team, with my blue Todoroki doing the third most, then Bakugo doing the fourth most, and Kaminari did no damage at all. He didn't even get a chance to attack J Fanta, so I imagine what happened is Kaminari came out at the end after he had killed most of my characters, and Kaminari didn't even get a chance. Kaminari does have a UR memory on him to increase his plus ultra gauge by 70%, so he pretty much has his plus ultra first or second turn when he comes out. So if that Kaminari had hit, J Fanta might have been in some trouble. It would have been interesting to see if J Fanta's team survived the Kaminari. A lot of people sleep on that Kaminari, but he is very, very good if you put him uh, in the right slot and use him the right way. And you can see his green Todoroki did most of the damage for him, while his other characters were just kind of there. His Aizawa, of course, was the last one to come in and did 63,000 damage, which is really good. The Aizawa is really, really good. So, my team did pretty well overall. My Todoroki is... My green one is level 100, my blue one's level 90, my Nejire is level 100 as well, my blue Bakugo is level 90, and my... Uh, Kaminari, couldn't think of that, I was going to say Kirishima for some reason, my Kaminari is also level 100, so a mostly level 100 team with two level 90s uh, mixed in, and then I know his team, he really only has one level 100 as of right now, and that would be the Aizawa, and then he has, I think the rest of them are probably around level 90, level 85, I'm not sure, so that's why his BP was just a little bit lower than mine, but as you can see, 306 BP can be 310,000, so it doesn't really matter what your BP is, uh, as long as you got the team to <laughs> do the fight. Ultra Arena, that's the way it works. Uh, so I am kind of excited about this. I was excited to see it because I was hoping to fight Jay Fanta in Legend last season, before the season ended, but unfortunately I did start at the bottom of the ladder because everyone started there, and it took me just way too long to get to Legend. I did make it to Legend, but I ultimately ended up around like 190 uh, in the Legend bracket, whereas he was up towards the top, so I never really got to fight him, and he never really appeared in my challenge list. But now that I've seen him, and now that he's fought me, I know I have a chance to fight him, and I'm hoping that I will get the chance to fight him as I work my way up to Legend during this season. Maybe I'll fight him in Legend this season. I'm excited to see where and how that goes. And as you can see, I don't have a Kirishima on my team currently. I did just get very lucky off, uh, off screen pulling the blue Kirishima, and I was really, really hyped about it. I'm excited about it, so once I get him leveled up, I will make sure to put him on my team, and then I'm also going to be able to get my blue Bakugo to level 100 here very soon, and then if I get the chance, I'm definitely going to take on Jay Fanta whenever I see him in my list, and I'll do a video for you guys of that, and we will see if we can beat him. 
and, and perhaps we'll get to fight him a few times. We'll see him in Legend, so on and so forth. And yeah, I was just really hyped about this. I know that's a weird thing to be hyped about a loss, but you know, it was exciting for me. And I hope to give you guys another video where we get to fight him in the future. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Peace.